Welcome in Las Vegas challenges this weekend and today we're talking survivor picks uh, If you don't know a survivor league is basically you're trying to guess who is going to finish inside the top 15 Picking the winner at any type of golf event is nearly impossible It's very difficult to do but picking somebody who's going to finish in the top 15 is another story last year I went 13 for 15 events over on skipace.com and I'm gonna try to do better this year. So uh, these are a few of my favorite picks for Survivor Leagues this week. Starting off, uh, basically copy and paste last year, I picked Ezra Adderhold, Kevin Jones, and Garrett Gerthy. All three of them fit inside the top 16. Unfortunately, Gary Gerthy did miss week, one, did miss the cut by one spot. This year, all three of those guys, I think fit perfectly still. Uh, the course is a little bit different this year, so uh, we're not ex we're not playing the exact same course as the last year, but it's still Las Vegas I still think it's gonna be a bombers course anybody with a big arm has the opportunity to score Well, the other guy that I definitely want to throw in this list is Drew Gibson He has finished twice in the top six the last two years uh, He won the event last year if you think he can repeat Go ahead. I think he is a solid grab as well now none of these guys are top five guys in disc golf right now and that is one key thing that you need to remember about survivor leagues is once you use somebody you lose that person so if you want to score points early you can use those big name guys but just remember you're not going to have them for worlds or the european open or some of those more difficult playoff events like mvp um, so you need to pay attention to who you're picking because you're not able to pick them again now a couple of fringe guys that i think you might be able to slot in here our game uh, names like Thomas Gilbert, who has a top 15 average uh, at Las Vegas Challenge. James Conrad has a top 17 average, uh, but he is just a very consistent player overall. With the changes, I wonder if he might be able to even do better because I think they are they tried to make it a little bit more difficult than years prior, which would, I think, help James Conrad in that regard. Of course, like I said, you can use those top five names. Uh, Gannon Burr, uh, Macbeth, Ricky Wysocki is not going to be competing this week, so make sure you not don't pick him. He is resting that wrist injury for another event. Uh, one name that I do want to throw out here, Adam Hammes, uh, struggled last year uh, for the ma majority of the back half, but he still performs very well at Las Vegas Challenge, having an average finish of 10 and a half. Uh, I believe that's over the, over the last two years. Now, I do want to throw out a couple of names. I know I said this is a bomber's course, but not everybody is able to take advantage as well as others. Some big armed guys that have struggled here in the past, uh, Albert Tam, Brody Smith, Anthony Barella, all have average finishes outside the top 27. Well, there you have it. Uh, this was Las Vegas Challenge Survivor Picks this week. I'm still trying to decide if I want to change this up from just a talking head to figuring out a different way to present the stats for these players and these events. So might see a little bit of change to this segment next week. So with that, if you would let me know, do you want more stats, less stats? Uh, how can I help you guys win your survivor leagues this year comment down below um, one thing that you guys would like to see from this segment if that's a wild card pick if that's a do not pick this guy pick um, those things really help me just uh, I want to make these videos to help you guys win and uh, I want to do everything I can to do that so let me know what you need